Okay, so here's another one of our star questions that we're going to talk about in practice. So this one says four points are labeled on the number line. So I have K, L, M, and N. And then it says which point best represents one third? So the first thing I need to do is I know fractions don't work well on number lines. So I need to turn this fraction into a decimal. And we know if we have D, F, P, that from a fraction to a decimal, I cowboy and horse. So I need to take my one third and cowboy and horse. So I'm gonna go ahead and label and do my division. So I know that my one goes inside because it's my cowboy, my three goes outside, take off my boots and hat and eat two donuts. And then I'm gonna put a space above every number just so I know what I'm doing here, okay? So let's go ahead and divide that. So three does not go into one, so I put my zero. Three does go into 10 three times. Three times three is nine. Subtract to get one, bring down. Three goes into 10 three times again. I get nine and I get another one. So we realize here it's gonna be the same thing over again. So that's what we call a repeating decimal. So one third as a decimal is 0 0.33. So now that I have this as a decimal, I can put it on my number line. But before I do that, I have to think about what my number line is telling me. So over here, I have zero. Zero is not in the middle, it's over here. So I have my zero here. And then at the other end, I have 0 0.5. But I'm gonna think of this as money. So if I think of money, I have to have two decimal places. So I know I can add a zero back there and think of this as 0.50 or 50 cents, okay? So if I have 50 cents, a good trick we can think of is I have my middle point right here. What is half of 50 cents or what is in the middle of zero and 50 cents? We know that the half of 50 cents would be about 25 cents, okay? So I know if my decimal is 33 cents, that's gonna be bigger than 25 cents. So it's automatically gonna be either M or N because 33 cents is bigger than 25. So K and L, we know those aren't gonna work for us. So I can go ahead and mark those out because those don't even make sense. But now I need to figure out which one is which. So from 25 to 50, what are the typical things we could count by on a number line? I can count by like, ones. So if I do 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, that one doesn't work. Okay. You can count by twos, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33. No, that one doesn't work. Um, what about five? So if I do 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, that one works. So this is 25 cents. This one would be 30 cents. I have 35 cents. 40 cents and 45 cents, and that would get me to my 50 cents. So this is counting by fives between here. So again, I have 33 cents. My one third represents 33 cents. So that would probably be between 30 and 35 cents. So my answer there would be point M. N is between 40 and 45 cents, and we know 33 is not there, okay? So make sure if we have a fraction, fractions don't go on number lines, decimals do. And you have to pay attention to what your endpoints are. This one was zero and 50, so think of money. Find your center point and then see what it's counting by.